Um, welcome to this uh, session, which is about the uh, MA in Methods of Social Research, and um, where I'll be talking about, first of all, the broader PGT opportunities at the University of Kent, but the main focus will be on the Masters in Methods of Social Research. My name is Trude Sundberg. I am the director of the Masters program of Methods for Social Research, and I'll talk a little bit more about myself in the later slides. So. At the University of Kent, we are a very diverse group of world-renowned experts in our fields. And what is unique, I think, about the University of Kent is that these experts, who are experts when it comes to methods on qualitative methods, innovative, collaborative, community methods, and um, quantitative uh, analysis methods, and they will come in and work with you and teach you in every module on the seminars, and ensure that you get the highest quality of teaching when you come to the University of Kent. We're one of the top four schools in the country when it comes to sociology, social policy, and criminology. So our research is highly, very highly ranked in the United Kingdom. And we have a distinguished research culture. We're part of a Southeast network for social sciences that provide um, PhD scholarships, and we have a range of seminar programs, transferable skills training programs, office spaces, and um, postgraduate centers accommodation to create the perfect study environment whilst you're at the university. Uh, our research um, culture is also supported by 11 research clusters. So your potential supervisors and lecturers and professors will be working within one of these many research clusters. Uh, and I think it'd be always great for you to have a look at these research clusters before you come to us to see if there's any of these that you would like to be part of when you are at University of Kent. So as an MA student, you're very welcome to come and become part of these research clusters mm -hmm. where we uh, arrange and organize regular seminars um, article review sessions and other events to build on and develop our own research. Um, we're also action-based. We, we do internationally focused research. So for example, my research is on water security in South Asia. So I look at the access to water for drinking, hygiene, sanitation purposes, and how it relates to climate change, as well as how it affects people uh, when it comes to kind of who is more water insecure. Is it um, due to gender? Uh, does gender explain who is insecure when it comes to water? Is it uh, race? Is it ethnicity? Is it poverty? What influences this? Uh, Corey Wren does work on animal rights and veganism. Caroline Chatwin looks at drug policies in, in the EU and Europe. Karin Tunaker looks at homelessness. We have domestic violence, refugee and women's refu refuge charities work done by Marianne Duggan. Uh, David Garbin does really interesting work on um, African countries and their um, regional and urban planning and development. Um, and we also have Hidrung Chung, who works on four day, uh, the four-day week and family policy development. And this is just a few examples of very many strong researchers that will be working with you and teaching you during your MA program. So we have passionate lecture lecturers who are also engaging and really exciting set, set of student staff seminars, societies, and social events. And you get to learn from us, the experts ourselves. Um, I think for an MA program, if you're having um, second thoughts or you're worried about it, and uh, please always come and contact us. Uh, I'm always available for a chat. We, you can email me and um, we can have a talk about whether or not a master's program is for you. When it comes to methods in social research masters, many students who do those masters also wanted to go on to do a PhD. We also have a lot of professionals uh, who've been working for a while, who know and have learned throughout their um, work history that they need a little bit more analytical skills 
to kind of upgrade in their own career. And so they also often come to do a master's, which really speak to the employability of doing a master's in methods of social research in particular. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, and then just kind of focused on the employment part and the employability that you might get from doing an MA in methods of social research, because it can really set you up for a whole range of different careers. Um, and I will say a little bit more about that. If you and when you are doing a master's, um, we have autumn and spring for programming. And then in the summer, so from about April till September, you will be doing your own research under supervision from one of our staff and write a dissertation of 12,000 words. Um, now, just quickly about me, um, and this goes back to sort of, um, the employability. I, I did a um, research MA, or actually MSc, <laughs> Master of Science myself, uh, and I have worked in private sectors. So I worked with the big pharma, because when you do have uh, skills of research and analyzing data, you are very employable and um, all kinds of businesses from private sector, NGOs, civil service need people who are able to digest information, putting it, put it together into a comprehensive and an immediate message and to take action on it. So I've moved from big pharma into academia because I'm passionate about teaching and research. And now methods is what I live and breathe. And <laughs> these are just some of the examples of my own uh, most recent research. Um, I would argue that social research methods is more important than ever. And I think uh, the economic recession, the changes in the economic, in labor markets, inflation, interest rates, COVID numbers, we see numbers and data thrown us, at us in every part of our lives these days, and not to mention social media and how we are being targeted by uh, advertisement. Behind that is quantitative research methods, <laughs> which you will be learning as part of an MA in social research methods. Uh, and so research methods is key in any job you have. And employers need people with research method skills. And this has been very clear to me as the director of both our undergraduate and postgraduate uh, degrees in research methods, because our placement modules is, is the easiest one to find organizations who would like our students to come into, because they have skills that means they can come straight in and work on actual projects. And uh, normally on placement uh, modules, people might have you know special projects that they are able to work on because they might not have the kind of skills that enables them to hit the ground running. With research methods, you're put in a different place around that. Um, and so we need this in the face of big data, machine learning, AI, and information wars. It's key. These are key skills in any job you will go into. Uh, so it equips you for analyzing work and live in the real world, which is filled with data in ways it has not been before. Uh, and as I've already said, an MA in social research methods often form a stepping stone to a PhD um, and set you up with the research skills you need to support scholarship applications if you are wanting to do a PhD later on uh, and to help shape uh, research projects, as well as if you are already working, um, it might help you in that career. If you haven't gotten to that stage yet, it will help you on your path to get a better job. Uh, when you're doing uh, methods of social research uh, masters, we also have a P-search, so a postgraduate certificate in methods of social research you can take, um, which is the same modules without a dissertation. Um, the MA program uh, has the structure of um, two modules in the autumn term and two modules in the spring term. And then you can take wild modules on any subjects you really want to do to kind of uh, guide your dissertations or for things you want to learn more about. And um, so in the first uh, term, you will do research design and quantitative analysis. In the second term, you will do a qualitative uh, research module as well as a module on critical social research with me. 
and then you do your dissertation, which means that during your MA, you will cover all of the central parts of, of social research methods. And you can, of course, also go further and specialize in more advanced modules, which you can do in collaboration with other um, schools and, and, and with me, of course, as the director of the program. Um, in terms of language requirement, these are the language requirements. More up-to-date information is found on the Kent website and international student website. Um, but you don't have to have done um, that much research methods before, and it doesn't have to be on sociology or social policy or criminology, your degree beforehand. Uh, always just contact me beforehand. And this MA is a good way of getting into social sciences and social research if you come from a slightly different background. But you need a good honors degree in the relevant subject. Uh, I'm gonna skip over to this, which I think is key. We do have scholarships because I know cost might be an issue when you're applying for an MA program. If you have uh, gone to Kent or you're a current Kent student, we have alumni scholarships. We have also got two uh, other scholarships available. We have the Bill Jenkins Award for all applicants and the Global Welcome Scholarships for overseas pay, fee paying applicants. And it's also, I think, important to think about other transferable skills training when you're doing your MA. And if, you're in, if you want to kind of develop that when you're doing your MA, you can do the Global Skills Award program. And there's a link to that in the presentation, and you will find it also on the Kent web page. So I'm going to stop here, but do please contact me if you have any questions or you're considering coming to study um, an MA in social research methods at the University of Kent. Thank you very much.